Hi guys, um, I'm back with another video. I um, said I was going to do a video after my first week of school, which was initially two weeks ago, I believe. It was first week of school was supposed to be on the 17th. School was supposed to start on the 17th, but due to weather here in the great state of Texas, um, our first week of school was basically canceled because we had really bad rain and, you know, they didn't want us to drive to campus and, you know, get into car accidents and stuff like that. So, classes were canceled on the first week of school. So, my official first week of school was actually on the 23rd. That's when we started going back to school. So, yeah, so my first week of school was last week, and um, I was going to do a video on Friday, but I said I would wait. No, I was going to do a video for last week and say classes were canceled, but I was like, let me just wait till, you know, the first week of school finish and then do an actual video, and then by then all my books would have came, so I would, you know, I would just combine, you know, my books and everything in one video instead of making separate videos and stuff like that. So, basically, the first week of school, what happened? Pretty much just syllabus and what books we need, and um, they started lecturing. I had a quiz for my intro to um, RT class. Yeah, we had a quiz, and our first exam is actually on the 6th for that class, so I'm, you know, I'm going to study this week. And try, hopefully I pass. So usually I wait when I was taking prerequisites. I um I wait till the last minute to study. Yeah, I am one of those people who procrastinate a lot, but um I can't do that now. So <coughs> excuse me, I have a cold. I've been having a cold for like a week now. It's actually getting better. It was horrible the whole of last week. Like literally, I thought I was going to die. Because I couldn't breathe. But anyway. So, um, yeah. When I was taking my prereq classes, I usually wait last minute to study and memorize. And then go take my exams and I'll do okay. Well, actually, I'll do well for memorizing. But um, I don't think I can do that anymore. So, I'm trying to change my study habits. So, this whole week, I'm just going to like study. And then on Sunday not do much of studying and just like you know mentally calm down you know for my exam and stuff like that so hopefully that um works um i hope it works i don't know i hope it goes as planned because i usually plan stuff and then it doesn't go the way it planned because like i said i do procrastinate a lot so i need to like kind of wean myself out of that habit Anyway, that's a different story for a different day. So, <coughs> basically, um, let's get two books for my intro to RT courses. My intro to RT courses. Um, we are using Egan's Fundamental of respiratory care I don't know if you can see that the 10th edition so it's this thick and it's this big and this is what it looks like so yes this um they told us is going to be our Bible for the next two and a half years so you know you can give all your other books away and stuff like that but this stays with you you're not going to give this away um, so there's that. I bought that from Amazon, and I bought the workbook to go with it. Um, our professor, he doesn't, you know, care whether you have it or not, because I asked him if, you know, we, the workbook was necessary. He said no, he doesn't um, do anything from it, but you can buy it to, like, study and stuff like that. So I just went ahead and bought it because, you know, it came in a bundle, so why not, you know? Um, and then for my cardiopulmonary AMP class, we have this book here. This is the sixth edition. 
So we are using this for my, like I said, cardiopulmonary class. Um, and then he um, told us to get the workbook to go with it. He said um, before he didn't require it. You can just like make copies from somebody, but then, you know, people just make copies of somebody else's work where they um the person with the book do all the work and they just go scan it and turn it in as their own so he um said this year he's going to change that everybody's going to have to buy the workbook so i went ahead and got that um for my clinical practice class we were told to buy this book which is the the Comprehensive Respiratory Therapist Exam Review. So basically, we are going to be using this for the next two and a half years to prepare us for our exit exams and our board exams and stuff like that. So, which I thought was really nice that, you know, they're letting us, you know, start using this book pretty early to study and stuff like that, which was great. Um, I think that's all my books. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And for that clinical class, we do have slideshows and such, so it's not just that book we're going to be working from. We do have slideshows and that we can study from because it is a hands-on class, so we're not really going to be doing much with the textbook anyway. So, um, yeah, and excuse my bright sweater. It's, it's really, really bright. It's not what I usually wear. I really wanted it because, you know, had a little hole right there for your thumb to go through. They didn't have it in black or gray, my usual colors, so I was like, heck, why not? Let me just get something different from what I usually wear. Anyway, so our first week was basically just lecture, lecture, and more lecture, and then um, one of the... Um, graduates from the RT program that graduated in 2016 came to talk to us. You know, I guess he just came, he was just off from work and then he passed by the school to talk to us and told, he basically told us just um, work in groups because that's going to save, you know, you from being stressed out and all that great stuff. So find, there's basically, how many of us are in the class? Like 17, 18 of us? There's about 18 of us. So he said, we are a pretty small class. So with that, find people you can work with for the next two and a half years. Break that group down into, you know, little groups and stuff like that. And um, basically, that's those are going to be your BFFs for the next two and a half years where you guys can study together, you know, merge ideas and stuff like that. So, um, exams can be a lot easier for you, and you can do it by yourself if you want to, but he was saying, you know, if you want to graduate with your class, study with somebody else so you guys can have different opinions and find ways that work for you guys where you can pass your exams. And he was basically saying for the intro to um, RT class, you have to read, well, not just that class, every class, you have to read, 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 ask questions, read some more, and for us to study at least four hours a day. So basically two hours for each class, you know, our practice, our clinical practice class, it's not that hard, he doesn't make it hard for us, so that one should be like an easy A. So, but for the other two classes, basically study at least four hours, like, a day. And, um, you should be fine if you do that every day. That includes Saturday and Sundays as well, so you don't get, you know, a weekend break or whatever. Oh, it's the weekend, I'm not going to do anything. No, that doesn't work. So, you basically study every day, four hours. And, you know, just... What he was saying was, you are basically going to not have a life for the next two and a half years, but he did say it does run by really quick. You know, by the time you blink and open your eyes, it's not going to seem like that right now, but by the time you blink and open your eyes, it's going to be 2019 and you guys are going to be graduating. So don't think about, you know, 
why the program is two and a half years long. Just focus on getting to the finish line, study, 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 and study some more. And you should be okay. Just, <coughs> excuse me, just, you know, read. That's what you were telling us. Just read, take notes, listen in class, ask questions, and you should be okay. Now, that sounds easier said than done. So, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. But what I've been doing is um, recording lecture because I do have a habit of daydreaming a lot. So, I zone out a lot. So, um, basically, I bought a recorder from Best Buy. And, yeah, I've been recording lecture and um, whatever I miss while my mind was somewhere, somewhere else. I will come home and listen to and then take notes from that. I found that has been helping me because I shouldn't be daydreaming anyway, but I do. That's just me. Uh, my mind wanders a lot. So, yeah. Especially when you're sitting in one class for like 10 hours. It's, I can't. So, yeah. <laughs> I've been um, doing that. And that's actually been helping. So, I think I'm going to continue doing that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my first week, so I'm about to go study now. No. I'm going to make some flashcards, and then I'm going to start studying. So, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to start making flashcards, and then after that, I'm going to start studying. And hopefully, I um, study for my um, exam is only on Chapter 6. So, hopefully by Saturday, I should have everything done. And on Sunday, I'm just going to relax and not do anything at all. And just wait for my exam on Monday. So, um, I will talk to you guys at the end of the week to let you guys know um, how my week went. Or maybe I'll just wait till after my exam and then do a video. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to wait till after my exam and then tell you guys how my first exam was. And, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.